find here real quick early in the morning. Check this out, there's a bunch of really big tarpon underneath stock, so this is gonna be a bit of chaos here, if I'm being honest. Tarping on it. Tarping on it. That one caught him. Oh, didn't get the hook. It was one of the littler ones. Drop it under there for a bigger one. See how smart these guys are. Doesn't seem like they're too, uh, too smart. <laughs> The ones I saw rolling under there were probably 20 pounds. The one that grabbed it was probably five pounds. So I'm not too stressed about him not getting the hook. Hmm, they beat my mullet to death. Looks like I gotta switch it out. Mullet is no longer with us. I'm gonna switch it out for a fresh one. It should still be under there. Oh my gosh. I wasn't even looking. I wasn't even looking. Oh. All right, we're tarpon fishing. Early in the morning, it's uh, 7.45. We got some live mullet in the bucket, as well as some live croakers. Tell you guys about them later, but right now, I'm gonna focus on getting a tarpon before I do any sort of intro, because they're eating pretty aggressively. I don't think he does, he's freaked out though. I think that was a giant snook. I think that was a giant snook that just tried to eat my mullet. I don't think that was a tarpon. Oh, tarpon are on him now. Got that tarpon caught him. Yep. Oh, that's a nice one. Just don't go into the docks. That is a nice fish. That is a nice fish to get us started. Let's hope he stays glued here. Going back behind the boat. I'd like to get him out into open water here. He's right next to this dock. That is a good fish. Oh. Stay out of the dock. Stay out of the dock. Of course I hook right into this fish as I get shoved around with the yacht wake, so I'm trying to stay balanced here. <laughs> All right, guys, well, Good morning. Welcome back to another video. We're starting it off once again. Hooked into a tarpon here. This guy's probably 20, 25 pounds maybe. 
eight, four, five inch live mullet. And that's a good way to get us started. So now we're just gonna play out this fight and just cross our fingers that, sh that uh, he or she stays glued. So we kind of wiggled her out away from the uh, away from the dock. So that's good. There shouldn't be any chance of her finding her way up in there. But she got some deeper water to play with here. We'll stay tight on her, and uh, we'll try to get her. All right. While I'm, uh, I might get a jump here. I was going to say, while I'm wrangling this tarp in here, wearing her out, set up for the day, 5,500 spin fisher, pen spin fisher. This is the, uh, the six one, pen spin fisher six. And uh, we got a Fenwick HM, or I'm sorry, Fenwick Elite Inshore. It's one of my favorite rods for snook and tarp in here. And uh, we got 30 pound braid to 40 pound mono leader and a 6-0 circle hook on the end. And uh, this fish, once again, ate a live mullet. It's a good fish. Maybe not quite 25 pounds, but I'll give her uh, maybe 15, 20 in that range. Good fish. All right. Now the hardest part of any tarpon fight, we're gonna come right here, is landing this fish. Never, never easy. Nice fish. Looks like we got a pretty money hook set there. I don't think she'll go anywhere. <sighs> it's always the hardest thing is to get that uh, circle hook through the barb. Once that uh, circle hook's through the barb and it's really holding on to them, you're not rubbing on anything, pretty much set. For the most part, I will say, this is tarpon fishing, anything can happen. Ooh, nice fish. All right, looks like she's about whooped. I'm gonna make my first attempt here to try to land her. All right, she slipped me. I need to get two hands in there, but I needed to put my rod down as well. Come on, girl. Really solid fish. Now, if you guys remember in my last video, I was talking about how yellow my first fish was. That was because of the water she was in or he was in. This fish is like a super bright chrome, clean color. It's in a little bit cleaner water. But let's see if I can get this guy. All right, I'm gonna get him one-handed here. Follow up with the second. Actually, I don't think I need him. I think that fish is uh, done. About probably yeah, 15 to 20 pound tarpon. Really, really nice fish. Oh, stay with me. Have that two hand grip on there. See, like I said, that hook, like I thought, it was past the barb and it actually wasn't. So I'm gonna pop it out. It wasn't quite puncturing the lip. That's out. And it's actually bent open. Check that out. That's probably from using a little bit tighter drag. And there, here she is. Beautiful fish beautiful super clean and like i said yeah probably 15 to 20 pounds good fish so what i'm going to do here get the trolling motor going i'm going to drag this fish head first get her head in the current and then we'll send her off on her way really really nice fish. there she goes that'll work see ya all right guys well good morning welcome back to another video release that nice tarpon just now that fish came on a finger mullet. Now I know what you're saying, Justin, this is third live mullet video in a row. I don't really care, I'm having fun. I'll throw a live mullet every day of the summer because it is a lot of fun. But I don't only have live mullet in my uh, live well behind me. I got a handful of nice uh, live croakers. Shout out to my buddy, the croaker broker, hooked me up. Um, got a bunch of nice croakers and grabbed a bunch of nice live mullet this morning. Um, and that is, uh, what's uh, on the menu for today. So snook and tarpon, that's the goal. Maybe even get a redfish, trout. You just never know out here. Started off with a good tarpon and I'm gonna have to change this hook out because like I said, it was bent open. 
That is probably comes from my tighter drag there. That hook, that fish head shaking pulled it open. But all right, let's uh, let's get going here. I'm gonna change out my hook, grab another mullet on, and we'll keep checking the docks for more snook and tarpon. Let's do this. All right, tying up a new leader here. Getting or not a new leader, a new hook. I don't say that too often. I don't have hooks bend out too often. But we are gonna throw on another one of these six O's. I like this size because of the size mullet I'm using. Now, if you remember a few videos back, I complained I wasn't using hooks big enough and I was using a six O. That is because back then I was using a lot bigger mullet. Today's baits are probably four to five inches. So a six O should be just right. I'm gonna tie this guy up with a loop knot. Go ahead and cut the tag end. My pen pliers, these guys are really good pliers. Check these out if you haven't. Uh, they sell them in most tackle shops. They're really high quality pliers. But that guy's rigged up. I'm gonna grab another live mullet, throw them on, see if we can pick off another tarpon before the sun comes up. Snook just smoked my bullet. Nice snook. There we go. Nice snook. Just smoked it. Could barely see him. Just sitting right there out on the flat. He's coming at me. Nice fish. He's about a slot. Oh, don't get up in there. Don't get up in that dock. Whew. Now that fish ate a mullet. I've been kind of going back and forth with croakers and mullet, switching it up. That is a nice snook. That is a nice fish. Come here, boy or girl. I guess I don't really know. Nice fish. Nice fish. It's a real good one. That's a good one. That's about probably, probably about a 30 incher. Maybe even bigger. It's like a perfect slot fish right there. Fish is barely hooked. It's hooked by a little piece of skin there. Let's see if I can grab her. Not wanting to give me the head. There we go. That's a nice fish. All right, so I'll just leave her here in the water for just a moment for her to settle down. Yeah, she's probably bigger than 30. I'll tell you what. Try not to measure too many fish. Try to keep it simple, keep them in the water, but I'm gonna put her on because I think she's about 32. And I consider myself a pretty good guesser at fish size. So he'll lay her here on our Castaway Customs ruler. That's at zero. She goes all the way to 33. Beauty. Circle hook right in the corner. And like I said, barely hooked. Look at that. That was just by a little piece of skin there. Pop that off. We'll quickly lay her back in the water. That is a beautiful fish. Beautiful. Should be ready to go. As long as I'm quick with her in and out of the boat, she should be good. Woo! Nice one. Nice one. All right, you ready, girl? Yeah, there she goes. That's a sick fish. I was not expecting that. Well, honestly, wasn't expecting that there. That was a 33-inch fish on a mullet. I've been switching back and forth this whole morning between... Uh, 
the croakers and the mullet and just happened to uh, come across a couple snook there. Threw the mullet right in front of them, sucked it down like under the surface, which is pretty solid. I actually had a nice blow up just before that and uh, the hook just like didn't grab. I think I kind of hook set, probably more on me. But uh, yeah, that is, uh, that is it. That is a nice fish and uh, we're gonna keep it going here. Knock out a few more. That's a tarpon. Slurped it under that. Oh, man, the wind is ripping. He ate it under there so calmly, shook it out. I couldn't stop myself. The wind is just shoving me this way. Ah, all right. That was a tarpon mess up call it that. I gotta tie up a new leader there. That was probably a 15 pounder. I was trying to kind of slow myself down or prepare to hit this dock. I couldn't slow myself down because the dock was, or the wind was pushing me about five, six miles an hour there. Just made a quick flip in there and he actually ate it. So, all right, let me tie up a fresh leader here. This one's a bit worn out. I'm gonna grab uh, another mullet, put him on, see if I can't get another tarpon hanging around here. Right at the boat. Right at the boat. <laughs> there we go. Oh, <laughs> he's jumping out on the other side of the boat. I couldn't get around the trolling motor there. <laughs> oh, well, there's a tarpon eat. About maybe a 10 pounder. There's probably a 30 pounder right next to him that uh, seemed a little bit smart on the mullet when he saw when he saw the other one chasing it, but the little one got me. Kind of just outplayed me there. He went under the boat onto this side and I, I couldn't like get around the trolling motor fast enough, jumped right here and then threw the hook. That's all right. That was a good fish. All right. There we go. <laughs> Oh my gosh, there's a much bigger snook here too. I was literally just sitting on my phone. Look at this. Check out that snook right there. You guys can even see that. It's like a 30 plus inch. I'm just sitting here on my phone. I look up, I see a snook sneaking past me. Pick up my rod. Look, there's another snook on this one. Oh, there he goes right through there. <sighs> Crazy the way fishing works. It really is. It's been like an hour and a half of hard focus trying to get a tarpon to eat. And I pick up my phone messing around look over there's a snook sitting right next to me throw the mullet he just inhales it i will take it i'll take it that is our third fish of the day it's a nice one hooked him perfectly ate probably a six to eight inch mullet and kind of sticking with the mullet today i think the fish have been enjoying them a bit more than the croakers come here buddy oh he's rubbing leader nice wow Checking my phone <laughs> and the fish are eating. They're right next to me. He's actually bigger than I thought. He's probably 24, 25. Nice fish. That's so ridiculous. I kind of wish I saw the bigger one first. Probably would have eaten because of, uh, well, judging by how aggressive this one was. But I'll take it. That is our third fish of the day. A nice snook. Spin you around here. It's a nice one. Really nice. There she goes. Or he. I guess I don't really know. How ridiculous. Well, check this out. You guys can see up there, I'm starting to see some black clouds, so I might not have too much longer to fish. But I'm going to fish. Oh, I'm hearing thunder right now. <laughs> oh, I want to keep fishing because the fish are here and they're biting, but I don't know. Let me. Let me re-gather myself and see what I should do. Let me actually check the radar this time.
Thunder starting to get a tad bit closer. I'm gonna flip this last stock with this croaker, see if I can pull something out. If not, it's time to run. All right, croaker, you're lucky. You're gonna go back in the water. All right, storm is pretty much up on me it's time to run away from it so I'll show you guys how we do that gonna do you need to pull the trolling motor up pull that guy up we'll throw this guy right there in the middle rod can go reverse facing just like that seal up this bag Put the big camera away. Come back here. All right, took a few more pulls than I would have liked. All right, it's time to run. We'll just made it back to the ramp in just enough time to uh, kind of avoid that mess of weather. Uh, I, luckily, there wasn't any like really strong rain or anything, but I just beat it back to the ramp. There was super strong winds, uh, lightning, and uh, some thunder, but it looks like it's already even passed. But it brought in some super strong winds, so I'm just going to take that as a sign to get off the water for real. And uh, yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I think we got a few good fish, some really good fish actually, like that 33 inch snook, a good tarpon in the morning, decent snook at the end there, it was, it was a good one. Um, and I got to knock out some good fish on a day where the weather was pretty horrendous. We've just continued with this terrible windy like spree of just, it feels like week after week of 15 to 25 mile an hour winds every day. But I was able to make a few, make something of today. And uh, yeah, I didn't get to use the croakers like I thought I would. I found every time I reached my hand in the bucket, I was reaching for a mullet. I always felt like that was the best bait um, for the fish and how they were behaving today. So we knocked out some good fish. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Check out the uh, new hats at the link in the description, JM Fish Co. If you guys would like to support the channel and hit the red subscribe button if you guys are new to the channel and like what you're seeing. So I think that is it. The rain is actually starting to uh, start right now. So yeah. I will, uh, I will see you guys in that next video. See you guys.